recording in progress. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to give the short intro before I turn it over to the more um, knowledgeable and informational counseling staff. But welcome, West Valley class of 2022. That is all of you, class of 2022. This is hard to believe. Where did the time go? I'm going to say your class has a unique experience as every class has when you walked out of the doors as sophomores for spring break, like a year and a half ago, who would have thought that now you would just be coming back as seniors together? Like some of you grew, like, I'm not joking about the six inches. Like some of you grew like a whole foot. I feel like you're like adults now when I see you walking in, you guys, you know, left here as sophomores and are now here as seniors. And that is perhaps a little jarring and unexpected, but I want you to know this, you are not behind just because maybe your senior year crept up on you. You are not in any way, shape or form behind on what you could or should have done. So the goal today is to give you information. That is the goal of the counseling presentation is to give you information about what it means to be a senior. If you're planning on graduating, there's some different steps that go into play there. The goal is not to stress you out. So I just, I'm using my cards. I want you to know that it is overwhelming. I have this feeling every single time I go to what's called a principal's meeting where I get like, they refer to it, right? Like a fire hose, like you're trying to drink from a fire hose. And so it can be very overwhelming and feel very stressful. And that is not the goal today. The goal is just to give you information to sit with and to come back to and um, go from there. Okay, next one. Right here is where you should be. So you're not behind. This is right where you should be. You are here, you are with us, you are part of the class of 2022, and this is right where you should be. So that's the end of the story, period. I think there's a period right there after B. So this is right where you should be, is right here. And every single person is here to help you. Your extension teacher, your classmate, your counselors, me, we are all here to help you and support you when you're like, oh my gosh, what is the senior picture deadline? Who do I contact to order graduation stuff? Like that is our role, that is our job. We are all here to help you. And my last one is this one. I, um, again, counterintuitive, maybe you might be like, oh my God, Ms. Gillum, this is so many things. Like, yes, that is true. But what you're always gonna come back to is to breathe. Like I totally like sometimes just close my door and take some deep breaths in my office. Cause that's how I sometimes best deal with my like overwhelmed. I don't know what to do things. So this is just my reminder that we're all here to help you. This is right where you're supposed to be and just breathe because we're step-by-step step walking the path with you. Okay, those are all my cards that I made. And uh, now I turn it over to our um, much more knowledgeable and informational counseling staff to give you guys your senior presentation. Well, hello folks. My name is Mr. Blackburn from the counseling department. And along with me, I have Ms. Anna Sprague, who will actually be part of this presentation to you seniors. Oh yes, 21-22. Okay. So here we have on our screen, show you starting out, this is the type of faces that we're gonna see at the end of this year. I'm pretty sure it is. So, all right. so a few things that Mrs. Gillum had touched on in terms of we're in this together. We're all as one unit here. So the strength actually is the wolf pack. And this is the wolf pack way. The strength of the wolf is the strength of the pack. Okay. So you gotta remember during this time, I know it's challenging, but we can actually work through it. But we have to do that with certain common things in mind. In other words, show our respect for each other, Let's respect our staff, respect, respect your fellow students as well, uh, which goes a long way in order for us to get through this and showing acts of kindness. Uh, certain, certain times that you may not know what a student is going through. 
Um, and just extending a little bit of kindness and even showing a little smile will go a long way uh, toward us actually getting through this year. And our mission is we want everybody to learn to work and think for life. That is our mission for you. So if you haven't met your counselors, here we are, Mr. Blackburn, that's myself, I'm A through F. We have Mrs. Johnston, she is G through N, and we have Mrs. Sprague, O through Z, and then we have Mrs. Lang, who is our freshman counselor. So there's a couple of individuals that we want to actually welcome and make you aware of. Here we have Mrs. Ashlock which is your 2022 class advisor. So there are a couple of more individuals that's important individuals we consider. There's Mr. Merritt, who is our yearbook advisor. And there is Ms. Rebecca Phillips. She's our Herb Jones representative in regards to caps, gowns, and senior gear. And that information, that'll be coming forth to you. And here we're going to start a little presentation from Herb Jones. So be sure to turn up your volume. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Greetings, West Valley class of 2022. I'm Becky Phillips. And I'm with Herb Jones, Alaska, mm -hmm. and we're your graduation experts. Over the next few months, we are going to guide you and assist you in ordering your cap and gown. Your class jewelry. And we'll also help you select the official graduation announcement for the West Valley class of 2022 and assist you in ordering those and everything else that goes along with them. We also have some fun things for your celebration along the way and items that you and your parents may want to commemorate this special time in your life. We'll be reaching out to your school and then to you within the next month or so. But if you need to contact us in the meantime, please feel free to reach out. Here is our phone number and my email address. We look forward to working with you over the next few months. And again, congratulations West Valley High School class of 2022. So I apologize, Mr. Blackburn, there was a video with images. It doesn't look like our attendees were able to view that, but we will we'll share this all to the counseling webpage and we'll email it out to all of our seniors and parents um, so that you do have that Herf Jones information. But we're gonna get a lot more info, info out on that to come. So I apologize for that. Seniors, I know you can use your imagination. And here's our yearbook message, the 2021 yearbook should arrive by the end of September. So keep your fingers crossed for that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll be announcing it when they do arrive. In addition to pre-orders, we'll have a limited supply of books available for purchase. So once again, end of September, hopefully we'll be able to actually have those available for you. Um, our plan, online pre-ordering throughout the year. There's spring delivery, which you can pick that up in May. Additionally, spring supplements, which include prom, spring sports activities, and graduation. Those are very important events that will be coming up for you to participate to make your senior year the best that it is. Seniors, October 31st. That's when your senior photos are due, senior quotes are due, and your yearbook prices go up on the 31st. So make sure you get your pre-orders in. 
during that time. Remember, October 31st. Also, we have a Q code that we will be using this year. So which will have a lot more information in order for you to access. Uh, let's see. Uh, so all, the, all these codes will be available to you outside room 112. That's room 112. And that's Mr. Merritt's room. And again, yearbook information, just like the Herp Jones information, we're going to send out to seniors a number of times throughout the year. So today we're really just planting seeds of information. Uh, so the timing of today's meeting is important for us because starting tomorrow, we are going to be pulling seniors one at a time to do your individual senior meetings. So a lot of the topics that we cover with you today we're just planting seeds because those are topics that we're gonna to touch base with you each on and talk about in those one-on-one -on -one meetings. So we're definitely going to talk about graduation progress. Now, remember you all as seniors have access to review your graduation progress in PowerSchool. Here, we just have a little bit of a reminder of what's required, um, again, Total credits needed for graduation, 22 and a half. And then I also wanna highlight that wonderful honor medallion. So remember, if you earn 24 credits or more, you are awarded an honor medallion. Now this is something your counselor keeps an eye on for you, but seniors, it is your responsibility. So maybe you've dropped a class or you have an excused period this year because you're on track for graduation. But we always want you to keep in mind if that honor medallion is a goal of yours to make sure you do have a full 24 credits. When we meet with you one on one over the next few weeks, we also want to talk about where you're at in your planning for after high school. Now, remember, just like Miss Gillum said, you're where you need to be today. And so we just want to see kind of what you're thinking about right now and how we can help you in those next steps. Again, right now, we don't wanna stress you out. We're just planting seeds of information, but this is some of the topics that we're gonna discuss with you and see how we can help support you in your planning for after high school after West Valley. A good tool that we like to utilize, you probably utilized in past years is the Alaska Career Information System, AXIS. We also try to get out to senior classes, and do a little bit of um, lessons on access and sh check out some more tools that are maybe more important to you in your senior year, like searching for post-secondary training options, searching for financial aid, even if you're just trying to narrow down careers or majors that might be a good fit for you. There's all sorts of good tools at access and you all have free accounts being an Alaska high school student. Uh, I also want to point you towards our counseling webpage. So we have added a senior link on our counseling webpage where we are going to post everything that we want to come at you with this year. Um, if we have visits from colleges coming up, whether those are virtual or in person, if we have military recruiters coming to school, um, local trade unions, lots of good opportunities, we're going to post that information there should be in the bulletin as well so make sure you're reading the announcements but if you're not sure what's coming up check out our counseling webpage. i'll kick it back to mr blackburn now so for those student athletes that are there you've got to be sure that you register also for ncaa which is the national college athletic association so when you're actually sitting down doing this plc process that Mrs. Craig had indicated. We'll be actually going through that with you to look at your core classes. And this is just in regards to division one and division two. So at the end of your junior year, you should have 16 core credits, just core I mentioned, English, math, social studies and science, and also languages. Like if you have French, or Spanish or Japanese. 
So that counts towards your core classes. Once again, we will actually be touching base with you to be sure that you actually do have your core classes uh, at hand and being sure to make sure you register for the eligibility center clearinghouse too. Okay. ACT, SAT, and work keys. These are dates, as you can see, that'll be coming up for those students that are actually planning on taking ACT or SAT. So uh, these are proctored at the university at the exam center. But for some of you students that actually are looking at different schools that you want to attend to, be sure to check their website closely because in certain cases, they may be wavering the ACT and the SAT, but it's still optional in regards to if you like to take it. In most cases, the ACT and SAT will impact in terms of for scholarships that you're looking for. And there is a registration deadline. So we've got to be sure to pay attention to those deadlines for that. Uh, work keys, work keys is another skill based uh, test that's gonna actually give you an opportunity to see what workforce skills that you have. They'll play an important part, especially when you get ready to graduate, irregardless if you're going to college, going into the workforce, going to the military. This is a good, a great uh, assessment test in order to take. And our financial aid and scholarship guru happens to be Miss Kathleen Fillingham. All right. So one of the things we want to actually promote, and we do it every year, we have an automatic scholarship list that's set up to where what's it gonna take is on your part to send Mrs. Fillingham an email and even your parents can do the same thing. And so you can be on that list to receive all the scholarships that comes across our way, whether it's locally or nationally, and give you an opportunity to see what you qualify for, what, what you may be interested in. So please do take advantage of this because this is free money free money. Only thing it takes for you to do is just take the time, mark it on your calendar, send an email to Mrs. Fillingham, and she'll set that up for you to receive your email. All right. Another topic that we want you to be thinking about, but another thing that we're tracking for you and we're going to discuss in those individual meetings coming up is the Alaska Performance Scholarship. So hopefully you're familiar with this, but if you need a reminder, this is basically free money for you to continue your education and training in the state of Alaska. Now we know a lot of students, their primary plan might not be to stay in Alaska, but we still wanna make sure you're qualifying for this scholarship. We've seen a lot of things happen where students who didn't plan to utilize or to stay in Alaska ended up being so grateful and the good news is most of what it takes to qualify is things that you're already doing. But some of the things to be aware of is that you do need to take certain coursework in high school above what's required for graduation. So those are the real pieces that we're gonna talk with you about during your individual meeting. But again, this is something you can track in PowerSchool under the AK Performance Scholarship tab. All right, and the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, this is basically an online form or document that you'll fill out with the assistance of your parents. Um, this is required by most colleges and training programs um, in order for you to qualify for student aid and filling out your FAFSA qualifies you for a variety of federal student aid as well. The FAFSA also happens to be your application for the Alaska Performance Scholarship. Now, this is something that you can begin to fill out. The applications open on October 1st. Um, again, it requires uh, your parents' tax information. And so usually this is something you'll do in conjunction with your parents. If you are living independently, this is something that we can assist you with as well in the counseling office. Um, but studentaid.gov, is the website that you can check that out at. We wanna make sure you're tracking the FAFSA. And it'll be coming up as students are, as you're applying to schools, as you're applying to trade unions, you're gonna need copies of your transcripts. 
Now, most of your requests are gonna be done online at parchment.com. So at any time you can hop onto Parchment and set up an online account. It's very easy. Um, sometimes you might have trouble with Parchment. Maybe a scholarship requires a hard copy of your official transcript. For those, we'll just have you swing into the counseling office and talk with Miss Tina and she can help you with those transcript requests. Back to Mr. Blackburn. So submitting applications. These are two typically the more common applications that we run across is the Common App and the Cindy EU. There are more apps that are out there, but these are the two most common ones that we receive. So you got to make sure when you do receive your Common App or your Cindy EU, you got to make your counselor a part of this because there's certain information that we're going to have to actually submit on your behalf. Uh, and when they do ask you, you have our email which is on our website, on the counseling website, or if not, just reach out to your counselor and send an email. And so you can get that information. Be aware, be aware, ladies and gentlemen, there are application deadlines. For example, California. It's November the 30th for California and for UAF is February the 15th. So the application deadline may vary, so you gotta be sure you pay close attention to that. Letters of recommendation. You know what, we are more than glad that is to actually create a letter of recommendation for you. Please keep in mind, you need to give us at least two weeks notice in order to do this part for you. We have forms in the counseling office, that would be more than glad that is to forward to you. Even the front office staff can actually help you out. Ms. Henny uh, uh, can also do that as well. So there is that for the students and also there is parent input form as well. Post-secondary education planning night. We've got a set date right now. At first it was to be announced. So it's gonna be Thursday, October the 28th and there'll be more information to come uh, regarding our post-secondary education night. So we want you to join us for this informational workshop so we can discuss those options, your graduation options that you have and also financial aid. We'll have representatives from UAF and also from CTC, uh, which is our community community technical college, as well as there's gonna be military recruiters who will be joining us as well. So be sure to mark this on your calendar. We'll be sending out notices as well. All right, so we are always trying to figure out the best way to get information, important information out to our seniors and your families. So this year we are going back to the Remind app so we have the class code here, but we're going to have that posted outside of the counseling office and around the school. And it's on our counseling web page because the goal is that we have each of you joining our remind for the class of 2022. That way we can send you those important messages, these important updates, deadlines um, directly to you. Again, we'll have this available in your individual meetings when we call you down over the next few weeks um, so that we can get you all set up that way. And then we will hopefully each week send you an update on kind of what the pertinent senior information is at the time. And here's a pretty fun slide. Graduation is Thursday, May 12th. It's gonna be here before you know it. <laughs> yes, it is. And again, as we, we threw a lot of information at you here, we're gonna post this presentation so that you can revisit maybe that Remind app, um, the yearbook information, different resources. But again, today we are just planting some seeds. And really the big thing we want you to take away from today is that we're gonna meet with you one-on-one -on -one in the next few weeks. And that is honestly one of the most important things for us with you in your senior year, 
because we can talk about because you all have different things going on you all have different interests so that one on one meeting is a great time for you to bring your questions and tell us everything you want us to know so that'll be the next step we're going to send passes for you these pretty pink passes and we have an image of that to show you so when you receive that pink pass make sure you come down to counseling to see your counselor so that we can keep we can get all of these meetings in as quickly as possible you know keep thinking about your post secondary plans and where you're at we love to see you in the counseling office especially in your senior year so as you have questions or you just want to ask your counselor is there something i should be doing right now come down to counseling don't be strangers um, it's never too early to get those letters of recommendation requests out to counselors teachers coaches and like Mr. Blackburn said, we have blank copies of those input forms. So if nothing else, just pop down and grab one of those and start filling it out. Be thinking about who you might request, write a letter for you and give them time to do so. Because some of your teachers get a lot of recommendation requests and your counselors as well. And I also um, like to say, Mrs. Sprague, is that is questions. Please, whatever question that you have, do not hesitate to ask us. There's no such thing as a question that seems to be too stupid or maybe something of irrelevance. Every question that you have is important to us. And we wanna make sure we address it for you because if we don't know that, we're gonna find some place or resource that's definitely gonna have the answer for you. And of course, your yearbook items, October 31st is going to come quickly and we want you represented and we want you in that yearbook. Um, so again, Mr. Merritt has that information posted outside of his classroom. And then right now, you just got to show up. That is the number one thing for your senior year. You got to show up and do your best. And that is the number one thing right now. And I'll just show you here, we have a pretty, um, image of that counseling pass you have to look forward to um, so that you can head down and have that individual time with us. We'll tell you everything we want you to know. You'll tell us everything and then we'll make plans for next steps. It's only in pink? It's in pink. Oh, I thought we have rose co other colors too. Oh, maybe oh. there is. Maybe there is. Mine are all <laughs> pink. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I have, Mr. Blackford. Anything else? Or Miss Gillum, want to add? Is she still here? I totally am still here. Still I'm just trying to remember. I know you had the remind code, and I just logged on to remind.com and joined your class. But usually there's like a little instruction that says text this code to this number, and then you will join. So I was just okay. secretly we'll find trying that. to remember how to do that. OK, we'll find that, and we'll get it posted out with like a QR code, too. Mm -hmm. Because that's um, the best way, I right? We we all know the way to reach all of you seniors is through your phones. So yes. I know that if I text you something, you'll get it. Sorry. Sorry, something just popped in. Probably be the, one of the first things we send on Remind is for students who need to submit PE waivers. That's right. We are getting to the point that if you haven't submitted PE waivers, we're going to start putting you in for PE second semester to make sure you have your graduation requirements met. So please stop down to counseling and get those blank PE waiver forms um, so that we don't have to update your schedule. And this is not a means of punishment, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a mean in terms of a safeguard. So we don't miss out on that part where you need this in order to graduate or you have it already, but you just need to get those forms into us. The sooner, the better. All right. We look forward to seeing all of you one on one really soon. I oh, think let I... me say something here. Oh, you get it, Mr. Blackburn. Right. So, you know, I can't see you, but I know you're out there. I can feel the Wolfpack vibe. So, everybody, stand up. If you're in your room, in your extension, repeat after me West Valley, how do you feel? And you're supposed to say, What is it you're supposed to say? I can't hear you. Oh, so good. <laughs> All right. Come on, gang. One, two, three. West Valley, how do you feel? 
We feel good. Oh, so good. So ah. good. Ah, yeah. So I know I can't actually see you or hear you, but I know the vibe is there. So come on, Wolfpack. Remember, the strength is in the pack. That's where it's at. To you, Ms. Gillum. No, I was just going to say, I think I found it. So the number that you're texting to, like the sending number is just 81010. And then in the text message, you'll put the at symbol 3DGK. I lost the rest of it. H9H. I think I got that right. And I will send that in an email to seniors too. I can certainly, after the recap of this, we'll upload the recording in case anybody missed it so they can watch it. And then I'll include the information for how to join the Remind. And I did, I had a Remind for last year's seniors and we used it um, for a lot of different things. Ms. Galloway just asked about assemblies this year. So that is a up in the air question. So our dances for right now, as of right now, the guidance that we've gotten from our medical partners is to, to not have big gatherings in confined spaces. So we have an outdoor assembly tentatively scheduled for Thursday, and I'm kind of waiting to see um, if we'll still be able to do that since it is homecoming week. Um, and then uh, same thing for dances that for right now, we are not allowed to have dances, but um, we're going to kind of see how transmission rates go and vaccination rates um, and go from there. All right, that's all I have. I don't have anything else. And I think there was one question in the Q&A, so I think we're good. All right, bye guys. Thanks. Thank you all, be good.